Hi there, and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a simple checklist in Microsoft Excel. With this checklist, you can list out your tasks, check them off, and view your overall progress on top. It's a simple tool, but you'll learn a lot by building it. That being said, I did leave a link in the description for you to download the template if you don't want to build it. Now with the intro out of the way, let's get to it. Starting with a blank Excel workbook, click here to select all cells. Right click on the row headers, select row height, set the size to 30, click OK. Then change the font size to 12 and change the vertical alignment to middle. Next, select column B, right click, column width, set the size to 15, Click OK. Select column C. Right click. Column width. Set the size to 25. Click OK. Select column D and change the horizontal alignment to center. Awesome. Now I want you to select cell B4 and type in task. Then notes and done. Then select these three cells and bold the font. At this point, turn off the grid lines by going to View, Uncheck Grid Lines. The next step is to build the table structure. Select the range B4 through D12. Go to Home. Click the down arrow next to the Borders button and select More Borders. Change the color to gray. Click the outline button and click OK. Select B4 through D4. Click the fill color button. Add a light gray fill color. Click the borders button. Change the color to green. Click this to apply bottom borders and click OK. Select B5 through D12. Click the Borders button, change the color to light gray, click the Inside button, click OK. Then select the range B2 through D2, click the Borders button, change the color to gray, click the Outline and Inside buttons, and click OK. Select B2 through C2. Then click this button to merge the cells into one. Select D2, bold the font, change the font color to green, and add a light gray fill color. Fantastic! With the table structure complete, go ahead and add in a few sample tasks like so. This will help us check that our formulas are working properly here in a little bit. And once you've added a few sample tasks, select the cells in the Done column and change the font color to green. And then go to Insert, Checkbox. This will add checkboxes to make it easy to mark off your tasks. And also, go ahead and check a few of them. Now, if you're working in an older version of Excel, you're not going to have access to the Checkboxes feature. That's okay though, because you can just place X's in the Done column instead whenever you finish your tasks. This will require you to make a small change to the formula later, but I will be sure to point that out. Now, before we get to the formula, today's video is sponsored by Connect Team, which is a beautifully designed app for managing your entire deskless team. For example, Connect Team has a forms feature that allows your employees to fill in reports, forms, checklists, requests, and more, all from their mobile app. You can use pre-made templates or start from scratch. The forms are completely customizable and allow you to gather correct and consistent information. You can also build dynamic forms that adapt based on user input, and managers get a complete real-time overview of every completed checklist. So instead of a simple Excel checklist, check out Connect Team. You'll even find that it's packed with other awesome features like shift scheduling, employee time tracking, and timesheets. And the best part, 
It's absolutely free for companies with up to 10 users, and they offer a 14-day free trial with no credit card if your team is bigger than 10. I left a link in the description to make it easy to find, so go check it out. That being said, let's get back to our build. Now that we're back, on to the formula. Start by selecting cell D2 and enter the following. Equals if error function, count if function, D5 through D12. Next argument, true, close parentheses, divided by, count A function, B5 through B12, close parentheses. Next argument, zero, close parentheses, and press enter. And by the way, if you happen to be using X's instead of checkboxes, all you have to do is change true to quote X quote, and that's it. That's the only change. Now, to understand the formula, it uses the count if function to count the number of checkboxes that are true, and a check is equivalent to true, by the way, and then the formula divides this number by the number of tasks listed in the task column. Finally, we have the if error function here to give us back zero in the case that there are no tasks listed, because if no tasks are listed, we get a divide by zero error, but the if error function catches the error and returns zero instead. To finish up this metric, make sure that D2 is still selected and click this button to change the number formatting to percent. Awesome. Now for the progress bar. Select the merge cell and enter equals D2 and press enter. Then go to conditional formatting, data bars, more rules. Check the box next to show bar only, change minimum to number, change maximum to number, and then for the maximum, enter 1. For the color below, select green, and under fill, select gradient fill. Finally, click OK. Okie dokie, we are almost done. For the final touch, I'll show you how to add conditional formatting to gray out any tasks that have been marked as done. Start by selecting B5 through C12. Then, Go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Then in the box below, enter equals dollar sign D5. Now, why D5? We put D5 here because this refers to the top cell in the Done column. If you happen to be building your checklist in a different location, make sure that this reference is to the top cell in the done column. Once you have your formula right, click on format, click on the font tab, set the color to gray, then click okay and okay. Fantastic. The last thing that I want to show you is how to expand the list to make room for more tasks. To expand the list, just select a number of rows somewhere below the top row and above the bottom row. Right click and select insert. And that's all there is to it. You are done with the checklist. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you had fun and maybe even learned something new along the way. Leave me a comment if you have any questions and I will see you again soon in the next Spreadsheet Life video. You're like a circle that floats around me Keeping me safe and sound And when I fall, you tied a rope to me